Hi there, this is a tutorial to show you how to send user IDs to Google Analytics. Now, sending personally identifiable information to Google Analytics is strictly prohibited, but sending a unique user ID is permitted. So this is a tutorial for users of the PII viewer for Google Analytics. Um, and this extension shows you how to map, allows you to map user IDs stored within Google Analytics to locally stored PII information such as names and email addresses. So the test scenario that we're using today is that we have some pseudo randomly generated user IDs um, and we're assigning that to each web page visitor. Now the user ID feature within Google Analytics is currently in um, April 2014 being rolled out so in the meantime, we're using a custom dimension to store our own custom user ID. Now this configuration that I'm showing you here is for test purposes only. It has no actual real value as meaningful data unless you replace the pseudo randomly generated user IDs with real user IDs from your customer database or from your CRM. So there's two parts to this tutorial. The first is to create a custom dimension for your for your custom user ID and the second part is to add the tracking code to populate the custom dimension. So let's go with the first part creating a custom dimension for your custom user ID. So this is Google Analytics we're in the, the admin section here. Select an account and a property and then within the custom dimensions sorry the custom definitions you can set a custom dimension. Now I've actually already set my one up here but I'm going to set another one up so that you can see it. So we add in cus custom user ID and you set the scope to um, you set the scope to user or to session. Here we're going to set it to user and you select it as active and then you click click, click create. And once you've clicked create, I'm actually not going to do that, you'll see this screen here. So you now see that it's set up and you can edit this and I've got the scope as user here. And it shows you some example code for this dimension. So within here you can see that this particular one is set within dimension one. Now I think Google Analytics allows 10 dimensions. So, but this, this one here, this custom user ID, is set to use the dimension one. So that's that. Once you've done that, you get this within your um, custom dimensions field within Google Analytics. So having done that, the next step is to add the tracking code to populate the custom dimension. On your test website, you need to add some universal analytics tracking code. Now, I've already added it to my website, but I'll show you this tracking code here. So this website is the readability test tool. It's like a little playground area for me that I can test Google Analytics functionality out on because it's got a reasonable amount of user data. Um, so what we've done is at the bottom of the, p of the page, we've added a script. The first thing that I'm doing is creating a random number. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, is creating a random number. And then we're creating, um, we're creating a random user ID out of this prefix, middle, and suffix. Um, so these aren't real users. Now the re reason that I'm doing that, this is because I've got a list of user personas that I'm going to map these to later. And then, having done that, we can show how, um, how the PII viewer for Google Analytics works with, with data that is not real, so I can put this on the internet without it having any privacy concerns. Okay, so back to this. So I create a, a random user ID here. And, and then I'm doing the create. So I'm adding my property ID. I'm adding some little, some more things. And then I'm adding the random, random ID that I created here within this set function. And then we're sending the page view. So to see this in action, we can actually turn on um, Google Analytics Debugger here. 
and we can see see what happens. So here's the, the debugger, you can see the title, you can see the tracking ID, and you can see the user ID generated is GHI-123-RST. And you can see that it's sent the, the, the tracking beacon. So that's great. Um, now we have our custom user ID being on the page, being sent to Google Analytics. So we've specified a view scope for this custom dimension and all the visitors from, the sing from this single user will take the last recorded um, value set for the, for the custom user ID dimension because it essentially overwrites it each time I reload this page. So it is just test information. And if all that goes well, you should now see the custom user ID as a dimension within Google Analytics. So being as I've already done this earlier, we can actually just go into Google Analytics and have a look. So if we click on reporting here, and we go into, say, geolocation, we can see, let's just get rid of this, you can see country and a territory, and as the secondary dimension, I'm going to add custom user ID, which is something that we configured earlier. And as you can see, there's lots from the USA, and we have lots of custom user ID. So this is getting populated from my tracking code onto into Google Analytics. And the next video show, will show you how to use the, the PII viewer for Google Analytics, this Chrome extension, um, to display within here the user's actual name. But that's for another video. Thank you.